Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel DKR Soft. In this video, we are going to compare two very important operating system concepts used in automotive software OSEC operating system and POSIX operating system. If you are working with AutoSAR Classic, AutoSAR Adaptive, ADAS, or Infotainment, then this comparison will give you a very clear picture of why different operating system types are used in different ECUs. First, we can start with what is OSEC. OSEC is the foundation of AutoSAR Classic Operating System. And this stands for Open Systems and their interfaces for Automotive Electronics. It's an automotive specific real time operating system standard and is created to solve problems like proprietary ORTOS, no portability, no deterministic behavior. And it was a joint automotive industry initiative by BMW, Benz, Bosch, and Volkswagen. So, AutoSAR operating system means that's equal to OSEC operating system along with this additional AutoSAR extensions. So, what is the key features of OSEC operating system? The very important key feature is this is specifically designed for static configuration. There is no runtime creation. And this is designed for small embedded ECUs and hard real time behavior. It's based on priority based scheduling. And this supports basic task, extended task, events alarms, counters, and resources. So, OSEC is simple, deterministic, and predictable. That's why it is ideal for safety critical control ECUs. Here we can discuss about how AutoSAR OS extends OSEC. So, here I have listed the OSEC feature. So, for this feature, for AutoSAR purpose, we are coming up with some extensions. So basically, OSEC is designed for single core. But you are well aware, AutoSAR OS have to support multi-core, safety and partitioning. So for that, OSEC feature added along with the AutoSAR extensions. That's where the OSEC OS standard will be used in the AutoSAR Classic operating system. So basic and extended tasks were there in the OSEC feature. So we are additionally adding OS applications and partition concept to fulfill the AutoSAR requirements. You can follow our complete operating system playlist to understand more detail about AutoSAR OS concepts. So OSEC feature is coming up with priority scheduling. So, AutoSAR extension is coming for timing protection. And OSEC feature, there is a possibility or there is a feature for resources. So, AutoSAR extension is coming up with memory protection because of multi partition and ASIL and QM. So, events were there in the OSEC OS. So, AutoSAR is coming up with multi core support. And for alarms, AutoSAR extension, we are coming up with stack monitoring. So, OSEC is originally designed for single core. But AutoSAR extension is coming up with multi-core operating system with scalability classes. So, in the functional safety aspect, OSEC was not originally designed for ISO 26262. But AutoSAR, we need to add the functional safety related concepts to fulfill ISO 26262 standard. So for that, we are coming up with memory protection, timing protection, OS applications, and scalability class 3, scalability class 4 safety levels. So these stricter execution models are autos are improvements on top of OSAC. Now, what is POSIX? POSIX is an operating system is a Unix like operating system such as QNX or Linux that provides 
standard POSIX API and is used for high performance ECUs like ADAS and infotainment. And AUTOS are adaptive applications run on top of such POSIX operating systems, while classic AUTOS are used as an OSEC based OS. The goal of POSIX is portability. The same application code can run on different OS with minimal change. And POSIX is an IEEE standard that defines threading, scheduling policy, mutex, semaphore, message queue, timers, signals, files, and sockets. So why POSIX used in automotive? Before understanding this, first we can understand about where OSIC, OS, OSIC is used. So OSIC based operating system is used in classic AutoSAR platform. That's typically for body control module, powertrain ECU, TASI system, and low level safety ECU. Same way, the POSIX used in modern vehicles are where no longer just small ECUs running control loops. Example, ADAS domain controllers, infotainment system, central compute ECUs, and zonal controllers. So these ECUs run vision algorithm, AML workloads, service oriented architecture, and over the air updates. So this particular things is not possible with OSEC style operating system because OSEC is intentionally minimal. So what are the typical POSIX operating systems are used in automotive? So as you are well aware about it, the micro kernel architecture QNX and automotive Linux that's based on Yocto based and Android automotive operating system and POSIX profile and VX works. So among this, currently in the automotive industry, QNX is dominant for safety critical domains and Linux or Android dominate infotainment and high level services. According to AutoSAR, AutoSAR classic platform runs on OSEC based operating system. But adaptive AutoSAR platform runs on POSIX operating system. Here, one thing you have to keep in your mind is AutoSAR adaptive itself is not an operating system. It is a software platform that runs on top of a POSIX compliant OS like QNX or Linux. So here, the mapping is very clear. Classic AutoSAR, OSEC OS. Adaptive AutoSAR, POSIX OS. So now, what is the main goal or main difference between OSEC and POSIX OS? So in a design goal level, OSEC is designed for hard real-time and deterministic behavior. But same time POSIX OS, it's for high performance and services. And configuration level, OSEC is for static configuration and POSIX for dynamic configuration. And in execution model level, OSEC uses task, basic or extended task. But POSIX will deal with process and threads. So memory perspective, OS will use static memory and that is MPU based. But POSIX is MMU and virtual memory. And scalability level, what is our classic operating system, OS, OSEC based, it's very much limited. But POSIX is very high. So finally, what is the typical usage of OSEC operating system? Body, powertrain, and safety is use. But POSIX deals with ADAS, infotainment, and central compute. So here, in the functional safety perspective, as I mentioned, OSEC was designed for deterministic execution, which is excellent for safety. But POSIX operating system by itself is not enough for functional safety. So automotive POSIX OS vendors are adding partitioning, real-time scheduling, process isolation, 
and safety certified kernels. So both can be used in safety context but with very different approaches. So the keynotes from this video is OSAC OS is best for small real-time safety critical easy use. But POSIX operating system is best for high performance service oriented automotive systems. So autos are classic and adaptive platforms exist because both OS models are needed in modern vehicles. So understanding this difference is crucial for any automotive engineer. So I hope you got a clarity about OSEC and POSIX. So if this video helped you to understand OSEC versus POSIX clearly, please like, share and subscribe to GKR Soft. I'll continue posting deep dive autos are and automotive software content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.